What is up guys? It's T-Dog here again with a quick video. Well, hopefully quick video. You know me and my quick videos that end up being more than that. But anyways, regardless, modification I did to the Vulcan S. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I've done this already. I've done it a few weeks ago actually. I just haven't gotten around to making a, a video for it on YouTube. But it's a modification that had to be done customized. Shout out to my buddy Edgar for uh, doing that for me. He did all the measuring, bending, fabricating, welding, all that stuff. And so, you know, just cutting through the chase, I had this done. It is a sissy bar, custom made sissy bar pretty much for the Vulcan S. Had, uh, had it painted like a satin black. Like I said, if you uh, follow me on Instagram, y'all y'all already know about this. But so we did it, or he did it, I should say, to where it mounts to the stock mounting screws. We did, or I keep saying we, but he did all the work. He did have to cut in a little bit into plastic to make it work, to make it as flush and as minimal as possible, which is fine. I expected to do that going into this. But he kept it as minimal and as invasive as possible. And it's... I could, if I was strong enough, I could probably pick this bike up with this thing. But I'm not going to do it. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> so... So what he did... Uh, what he did was... He took pieces of scrap metal. Uh, flat pieces of, of scrap metal. Just laying around his house. And pretty much mocked up like a prototype or something, you know, like a stencil prototype to go off of, to do measurements, uh, figure out angles, the overall design philosophy of it and everything. I don't know what size bar stock he used, but he had stainless steel bar stock that he bent up, cut up, welded up to make the sissy bar. Left the bike with him for about a week, so it was a lot easier that way. Instead of like just going there every, you know, every Saturday and you know, it was just a lot easier for the process if I just left them with, with the bike. And by the end of the week, you know, I got the bike back, uh, had some had someone uh, paint it black, and there she is, all said and done. In case you're wondering why, I guess the reason why I did this, why I got a, you know, a custom-made sissy bar at that, two reasons, aesthetics and functionality. Aesthetics wise, I've always loved the looks of city bars. That's one of the things that Harley, like hard sports riders, do that I, I, I just appreciate when they put sissy bars on their sportsters or whatever. I've always liked the looks of it. I, I just, I don't know. I liked how she looked without it, obviously. The sissy bar does add a little bit of a dynamic to the lines, to the whole overall silhouette of the bike and all that stuff. Now, the second reason aesthetics, I need. I needed slash wanted something to tie my bags to. I got tired of riding with a backpack on my back all the time. There were th there's been a couple times where I wish I had the ability to have more than one bag, and I just couldn't because I had no way to I had no way to tie luggage to my bike. So with a sissy bar, that's possible now. And yes, I know sissy bars are technically first and foremost passenger backrests. That's where the name comes from and everything. But as you can tell, I don't have a, I don't have a passenger seat. Because to be honest, I have no intentions on carrying passengers on my bike. I, I just don't. If you if you want to ride with me, better have your own bike, I guess. <laughs> I probably will get a passenger seat or something to put here, just to you know, something for the bottom of the bags to grip on uh, when I tie them. I don't know yet. Now, also, if you're wondering about the design. I've always liked the looks of it, the pointy style that the Harley guys do. But we went this direction with the curved, the wide curved with the kickback. This bike is so rounded. I think a pointy style uh, sissy bar would have uh, not really flowed with the bike well, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, the lines, it, I, thought, I think it would contradict it too much. So we went with like a wider, more curved option. And this is pretty much like, you know, you know, hooking points, pretty much. I might add, you know, 
more things to it if I think of it, you know, anything, you know, I don't know. Uh, part of me is thinking maybe later on adding something to fill this void. It has to be, it would have to be something aesthetically pleasing, but, you know, still somewhat functional, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's later on. Right now, I'm, I'm happy with how it is. Now, real quick, I'm just going to grab a backpack. Uh, somewhere in the garage or something to uh, tie to it just to you know show you how it looks with it with a bag on it So there you go. That's how it looks uh, Later on I will get more appropriate straps But right now I'm just using these bungee cords, which you know it works not too ideal, but it works So there it is so, so yeah, that's like my last big mod I've done to uh, the Vulcan S. Follow me on Instagram, at the real T-Dog. I usually uh, post anything and everything I do with this bike, I post on there first before I do YouTube. YouTube, I kind of just pick and choose what I post. So there it is. So yeah, if you like what you see, uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button too if you uh, want to see more in the future. Don't forget to comment and share. And, uh, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.